always look to iterate and innovate and pivot when you need to in order to keep learning and evolving. Firstly, it's for the public uh, to come out and defend whistleblowers. Uh, secondly, to get angry when the media gets it wrong or vilifies. And thirdly, was to read widely all different kinds of press so that you challenge your own assumptions and also make sure you know what's generally being said. Patience is the thing that lets you have a moment to yourself and know that you're actually on the right track. Education, pretty obvious but it's got to be relevant, credible, cool education that's right for that audience. There are plenty of people out there doing really amazing things, changing the world, and many of them have a huge stage to stand on. It's always evolving, always innovating. I think we need to think of our careers in the same way, that we ourselves are always in beta. And so Tracy, from being a local mum, who just wanted to know how much the coal smoke was impacting her community is now running for state parliament with an email list of 30,000 people and the local minister who is, has always thought he was in a safe seat is really scared. We all put on our clothes every morning and we make a conscious decision about how we want to represent ourselves to others, you know, and express our feelings, we can express our ideas, so we're all into fashion. It can be really powerful. When you are on social media, for all its faults, it's kind of, and forgive this metaphor, as close as we're going to get to the Roman Senate. It is the, yeah, I know, I mean because of the stabbing. It's just really cool to see people with a strong journalistic voice unafraid to talk about that, and they're also community driven. Art is about relationships. Art is about the connections between the artist, the artwork and the audience. And it is through these relationships that art is given a voice. I had a really sort of epic conversation with my mum where she was like, what do you want to do? Are you going to be an engineer? Are you going to you know, be a writer? Are you going to like, figure it out? And I'm like, I don't know. All I want to do is be useful. And she was like, well, that, then that's your thing. I would encourage people to sort of say, look in your community, in your environment. How is somebody changing people's minds in ways that you wouldn't expect? and try to say, well, why is that person succeeding? There's so much potential in this room. If you don't think you're the kind of person that could start a business, I would really, really encourage you to think again because there is huge, huge potential to do more. What's been great for me to, to hear from all the other speakers is just that the passion and the engagement and, and people who've really stumbled across their passions. So while you can't go and give justice to people, you can stand behind those people who are fighting for it. You can help amplify the voices.